Hello, and welcome to Space Desk, where we sit at desks and talk in a space. We are your hosts, Thea. And Evie. And we have been stranded on the moon for 82 days. How are you doing, Evie? I'm, you know, I'm floating. It's it's kind of hard up here. It's kind of stuffy. Smells like farts up here. Yeah. Yeah. Smells like ass. Smells I've like space. resorted to cannibalizing myself. Actually, myself. I thought you were so. gonna say kill your cats. <laughs> yeah, I. Well, I guess it I will move on to them. them. Yeah, I. I've taken out a foot. Why did you do them first. <laughs> um, I don't know. Some some part of me still hopes, still hopes that we'll get our food are. packages. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. soon. I don't um, think so. We we put ourselves up here, so I don't think people are like, man, these yeah. guys are sit in space. We're jealous. I did you know? I did order some food off of Amazon though. <laughs> I did order some some cup ramen, first of all. Okay, okay, okay. And do you hear my dogs barking? No, that's actually not picking up. I can hear it, but like it's it your thing is not turning purple. So that's I crazy. it's like not picking up that much. Fire. Okay. Um I have dogs here on yeah. the moon. Yeah, on no the moon. biggie. Um <laughs> but yeah. How's your week going? It's pretty good. Um Dude, I I got I'm 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 training for a job um which is always Oh Just yeah, like, are you doing annoying. the the um grooming? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I I worked at Schmetschmart for like <laughs> a year or like no, like a year ago. I didn't work there for a year. I quit. But I'm back because like a year. I'm so broke. Yeah. It did feel like a year. It felt like a year and a half to be fair, but I feel like it was maybe maybe like I feel like you were there for a while. Yeah. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like we went down there for a while at some point because yeah, that was just, it was a nice shopping center. Yeah. And I just remember, I remember you having blonde hair for a while. So I just associate that era with that your era of working at Pet Schmetschmart. Schmetschmart. Yeah. Um, working at Schmetschmart. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, it fucking, yeah, it definitely felt like a very, very long time, but, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll, it'll be okay this time around. I worked in the, the in the pet care department. No, it is, it is different a different is one, one, luckily. Go- oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's in, um, it's in, wait, where is it? Oh, it's in, like, We'll bleep it okay. in post, but yeah, yeah. it's insane. Um, but oh, 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 it's by the Gongcha and like the um the gotcha. fucking the like half like food place, half bubble tea place. Gongcha, the oh, like really good place. Yeah, Ooh, that has like we, like all go down there one time. Yeah, yeah. It's it's there's a PetSmart over there. Yeah, there's like a shopping center. It has like a Target, a oh. um, a Five Below. Okay. Some other shit. I think it's Sephora or maybe an Ulta. I don't know. Well, fast. But yeah. Bro, you should have applied to, to Sephora or Ulta. Yeah. I feel like working there would be pretty easy. Yeah. Right. Cause I mean, I mean. I mean, customer service is gonna have its up and up ups and downs, regardless. But I yeah. feel like working at Ulta or Sephora, or like a makeup store, makeup department right. store, might not be that bad. Yeah. Not compared yeah, I to don't like know. food customer service because that's yeah. that dog ass. I feel like I've heard that this is totally unrelated, but I feel like I've heard that Chick Fil A is kind of a good place to work at. I have really? no idea if that's true, but I was thinking about it the other day. And I was like. It would be nice to have Sundays off. <laughs> I know, right? Like, that would be nice. That would be nice. I fuck with that. Yeah, right? It's like, I know that I'm never going to go in on Sunday. 
I mean, maybe that's not true. They might have, like, they might have, like... Yeah, they might have custodians or something. Yeah, but... Maybe, like, uh... Maybe people who, like, bad. deliver food or whatever. Or, like, yeah. like give them, facilitate their food needs. Yeah. In bulk or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. the stocking or whatever. I don't know. Me, personally, I've only had a few jobs. Yeah. Um, I'm not... A, I've been working a few and I've been working... There. Yeah. Here and there. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. How was your week? My week? Honestly, it's been pretty... Pretty... Pretty. Uh, it's been a lot better than. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. Um, yeah. it's been okay. But yeah. Um, working is honestly not not too bad right now. My work life yep. has improved significantly okay. since. That's good. Like, since maybe maybe mayhaps. Like 2020, 2020, 2020, maybe. I feel like it's it's been okay. Yeah. I working at working at my school has been pretty nice, pretty pretty chill. Yeah. We have we I... have our moments because we like to throw a lot of like workshops and events. Oh, mm. I meant to tell you that you Clay Club is having another meeting on Wednesday if you want to come. Oh fuck yeah. I forgot what time, but I'll tell you, I'll let you know when I I'll look at the flyer and okay. let you know. It's on Wednesday, yeah. this Wednesday, and I made something before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I made such a, the cutest ashtray. Bro, when I Ooh, made yeah. it, when I was making it, they were like, they were like, every single time somebody passed me, like a teacher, like, uh, or a professor, uh, everybody, some, every time somebody passed me, they would be like, they would be like, oh, that's cute. That's a very nice, um, incense holder. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. My, my very innocent little incense holder. I know, right? Like, you, like, yeah, like, uh, I forgot the teacher's name, but she was like, she's like, I don't condone smoking, but it's very cute. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay, bitch, did I ask? Right. Um, <laughs> right. Dude. Yeah. Oh that reminds me, my sculpture teacher is so cool. I was yeah. talking to like my friend in sculpture class about like, I think shrooms or something like that. And, um, okay. and she was like she like overheard and she was like oh yeah you know just make sure to just make sure to like do it in a safe space guys like we don't want I'm anyone fire. freaking out she was like i think i think honestly she was telling us how there before like long before um we ever went to this school mm -hmm. um students or maybe Maybe students, maybe just, like, people would throw, like, ragers in the in the sculpture building. And, like, oh it's, like, a warehouse. And they would, like, put, like, red sheets on the ceiling. And then, so the lights would be, like, all red. And, like, it was so cool. And, like, people were, like, Fire. doing drugs and drinking and, like, just partying it up. On, I think this, she, I think she went campus? to this. Yeah, it's it's That's at the crazy. That's crazy. the Largo campus. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but dude, like, I think I think my teacher's kind of a badass. Like she, she's kind of a badass. She's like kind Bro. of a party party lady, a party but lady. also like so chill. That's fire. Yeah. I like. I, I like know, right? Having cool professors. Most of my professors are old. <laughs> yeah, she's old too. But she's like cool. Yeah, she's like kind of guilty. Cool. Guilty? Oh my god. Hey, shout Maybe out. Maybe Milky. I don't know I mean, if she's that shout old. Shout out sculpture teacher. Yeah, Sarah. <laughs> my goat. <laughs> Sarah, my goat. My goat. <laughs> yeah. Wow. She. Yeah. Yeah. I think that it's really nice to have professors that you can you can feel comfortable around yeah it's, it's 
it's pretty like college is pretty freaking uncomfortable all the time every single time yeah right i go (laughs) people don't talk about this but like college well we're in community college community college is not super different from high school like people people say i was thinking about that right people say like college is in a completely different world from high school like it's it's the best thing ever my personal experience so far has not has not been that but may right. i'm thinking maybe it's just the fact that we're in community college but i don't know i think that um i think it's similar to the i think it's pretty similar to high school actually i was thinking yeah, about right? this the other day because i was like man i'm just going to this school being here all the time and i'm like okay well this is like exactly like high school because there's little classrooms that i need to go to and the professors act just like high school yeah teachers that's what i think too i think it's like it's not even like the environment or the campus or anything it's it's really just like teachers are i mean like teachers i guess are the same like no matter where you go but i i've only had like a few teachers um that i think are like cool and that like transcend like high school teachers um but yeah i think like i think the the real the real spill is that like the teacher you you get like makes or breaks your experience with that class yeah or like in general sure. like i feel like half half of my teachers that i have now are pretty cool and then like the other half are like a little bit a little bit creepy. like 50 50 like sometimes yeah sometimes they're okay but i mean they're like yeah. okay but they're still yeah like eh. like I'd rather yeah. mu- I'd much rather have a different teacher than you right now yeah <laughs> yeah so my bad bro yeah yeah but oh. yeah <laughs> yeah but have I you think been that, um... what oh I was gonna change the subject oh I was <laughs> one more thing one you, more thing you, you go you go we yeah. change. I was just going to say that um, my professors um, are mostly black women, which I love. So that's mm. a perk. But uh, I, luckily, I, I feel like I've gotten lucky with my professors. I feel like they could have been a lot yeah. worse. It's not like I'm yeah. getting to know them. And I do, I mean, I do spend like a, a while with them because I have like three, three, three hour classes, three hour lectures half my classes are like three hours long so i am i am sitting with them for a while but yeah not to the point where i'm like all right man you suck i mean yeah maybe one but yeah we did have like a a class that was like like fucking nine to like one how many hours is that that's like that's four four hours four hours four yeah hours. four hours Three and a half. that's a four hour class yeah it's yeah. it's tough it was excruciating I think, <laughs> yeah i think another thing okay all my listeners who who are not yet in college or who are trying to pick out classes for college it might sound like a good idea to maybe do like a weekend class you know, so that you have, like, time to work throughout the week and do whatever. The problem with weekend classes is if you get one that is, like, a single day in a week, that shit is excruciating. Um, yeah. You have to, it's, like, it's take into account, like, how many, like, how many weeks you have in a semester and how many, like, hours of class like that you're gonna have to be sitting in like you also within the yeah uh, first part of your week yeah there's like there's just like i don't know if i'm i'm sure like all classes do like units but like um 
at least in America, but like um you have to get through like a unit or two yeah. like in one class period. It's it's like fine, but it's especially if you're doing like community college and you're like working and doing class part time. Stick with the fucking week classes, dude. The the <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday classes. Those yeah. those are way less stressful than than like a weekend class that you can like bang out in like one class period and that's great, but it's really hard. It's like really fucking yeah, hard. It's really it's especially if people people say that to um especially not take morning classes. I think yeah with it being Which, combined yeah a, a weekend class and it's yeah. in the morning you're crazy yeah <laughs> yeah um and I think personally I I feel like I I would rather do a morning class than like a evening class just because yeah. like how my brain works I'm going to be thinking about that class the entire day if I if I have to be taking it like in the evening. So I would rather just like get it out of the way. I like doing that with work too. Like if I have work at any point that day, I would rather do it in the morning because then like yeah. you're done. You can like relax, do whatever the fuck you want for the rest of the day. And actually, that okay, little side note. I have been going to bed and getting up early just like, just like every single day for no reason it's great and i fuck with it i i fuck, fuck with-, with it heavy <laughs> i used to be the kind of person to to like just stay up for as long as i can at night and and you know do my little do my little things on my computer play my little games and whatever and that's great and then wake up at like noon <laughs> Hi, my bad geez. Um, wake up at like noon or something. Sometimes, like over the pandemic, especially, I would wake up in like the evening time, like like the yeah. day's over, and that okay, shit like that's that depressing. Was valid for COVID, it is yeah. depressing, but it was COVID. It's, so yeah, yeah. But I think like I have found that I feel so much better like throughout the day if i like go to bed at like 11 and wake up at like 8 yeah i usually i mean i can wake up it my body is like trained to wake up at like 9 everything every single yeah. morning so no matter what time i go to bed i'm always my body's going to wake uh, wake up at 9 and yeah um or earlier cuz i do have to get up earlier sometimes cuz i have to take public transport <laughs> oh my so god i have that yeah <laughs> i have to, I have to crazy. Like, take an account to all of the schedules that right the metro is running under and like for today if usually normally i'd wake up at six to go to class today damn to like have to be there on time at nine well i have to wake up at six because my dad also has work and he has work early as fuck in the morning he has to be to work Mm -hmm. at like eight so he wakes up around like 6 45 so Mm -hmm. and i don't want to take a shower after that man (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah take a shower after him no so i wake up before him and take a shower before him so and then i i need at least an hour of like winding down before i have to go out and really socialize and yeah i always give Fair. myself an hour before like anything before anything i go i like give myself an hour unless i'm like hanging out with you guys because i don't really give a fuck what i look like when i'm hanging out with friends yeah. uh but like when i have to go somewhere if i have to go to like work or class i always like wake up at least three hours before i have to be there Fire. so i'm like and i mean uh, i have class bad. yeah it's not bad i i have class i have night classes i like night classes because i can just sleep during the day and then get my sleep at night and then well i'll i'll sleep I'll, I'll wake up early as fuck and then be able to have the rest of my day 
the like maybe I'll wake up around like nine and then I'll do do whatever I need to do in the morning and then um if I decide to stay up then I'll stay up and then just play my little video games and then um if I get tired then I can sleep for like another hour before I have to go to school and then when I come home I can just sneeze and all for the rest of the day <laughs> for, the, for the rest yeah. of the night because I my class ends at nine so everybody's asleep anyways yeah. and I yeah. also like being I like when my house is quiet and mm. it's the most quiet at night so I like coming home yeah. at night Especially after work, oh my god! Especially after work, <laughs> it feels so nice to come home to just a cl- a house that's silent. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I yeah. love when my grandma's like upstairs in her room. My dad's downstairs. He's might be outside, but like still, it's like it's like I get to come home and I'm like, oh yeah, fuck yeah! I roll <laughs> a joint and I go outside, sit out there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah my I feel I like my house is the opposite. It's it's like really quiet in the morning because like i think my my brother has like work in the morning or something or maybe he's sleeping over at his girlfriend's house or something like that and my mom is like always like especially a saturday morning bro no one's home um except for me bro and and it's awesome and i go downstairs bro and i make myself some toast and a little cup of coffee (laughs) and and it, it, nothing matters, bro. I could smoke. I mean, my mom doesn't care if I smoke in the house, but um, <laughs> it's nice. I love. I feel like the nighttime for for my house is when like my brother is probably like bringing people over. Can you not? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I think your. I feel like your house is more active at night. Yeah, but yeah, it's more I can life. honestly. A quiet like night, a quiet evening, is like so nice. Yeah, bro. I just know. I just know that like the. I feel like it when we when we eventually, more than likely, probably move in together. I think. <laughs> I think that it like will probably be a mixture of the two, like a balance. Yeah, because we don't know. We don't know how our schedules will be. Um, yeah. In terms of like, like school and work down there. So yeah, we don't know if we're gonna be working in the morning. I think, I think, uh, I think it might be. I think it might work regardless of what we do. Cause, cause, it, cause, think about it. If 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 you go to work in the morning, and uh, and you're gone for most of the day. And then I leave when you get off and like I go to work and I come home at night. You probably might be still still be up when I come home yeah. more than likely. So yeah. we get to hang out anyway. Either way. <laughs> either yeah, way. especially because Proxy is is like up all the time. Like Proxy does yeah. not sleep. So um, yeah. so I feel like we'll we'll just be up forever <laughs> and then like yeah we'll just well, i feel awake like forever and ever yeah i feel like okay visualizing okay viewers viewers we're visualizing okay. our life take a moment take a moment to visualize i'll tell you mine all right okay. in a year in a year we'll be living in baltimore mm. um the heart will be walking distance within walking distance to our schools and our workplaces um and you know we'll we'll have a car we'll drive sometimes you know if we want to visit out of baltimore or whatever um but you know wake up in the morning for me i'll wake up your door will be closed i'll (laughs) i'll set aside i'll set aside a cup of coffee for later you know i'll i'll you know make some waffles oh yeah i skedaddle i'm gonna i'm gonna classes or whatever Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. i do my little thing it's a it's a it's a studio class you know i'm doing my art um i've worked afterwards oh gotta skedaddle to work 
I get tipped. <laughs> I get tips. I get so many tips. Oh my god, I'm I'm, so drowning tips. Tips. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm drowning in tips. I'm drowning in tips. I'm 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 the best. Maybe I work at a coffee at a coffee I have a coffee shop coffee maybe. Shop. Maybe uh, maybe I'm a little barista. Little barista. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Or maybe I'm still working with animals. You know, maybe I'm a groomer still. Maybe I'm working mm-hmm. out of PetSmart in fucking Baltimore. I don't know if Baltimore has PetSmart. I've never I've never seen a PetSmart in Baltimore. I mean, ooh, yeah. Wait. What? New 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 uh new brainstorm. Okay. I'm 21. I'm 21 okay. at this point. I'm working. And you're a bartender in a dispensary. <gasps> Oh, you're I'm working a in a dispensary. Tender. I'm a bud tender. You're a bud tender, and I get hella tender. tips because I'm always oh, giving getting, people discounts. You're so nice, and yeah, you're so nice. Yeah, and, and I'm so, so nice, and I know I know so much. Damn, yeah, it's you like know so much about weed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can tell <laughs> you so exactly cool. what you want, bro. And exactly, and I'm like, I get hella oh, tips. thank you, Theodora. <laughs> yeah, as I'm leaving, bro, my friend Everton walks in, bro. It's their shift now. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! bro hey! do you need anything from the hey, grocery store wait, wait, wait. actually actually <laughs> we run the store we we're run the managers. it we're the managers, we're the, managers. <laughs> <laughs> we're the managers and we get so many tips as yeah. soon as i'm leaving bro evie's coming in they're they're have they're working a little bit a little bit before their night classes all good yeah thanks um i ask need anything from the grocery store Evie's like, you know what? Party tonight. Party every night, bro. <laughs> party tonight. Yeah, get some, get some, get some party chips. Get some, some yeah. drinks. Some hit the liquor store too. Also, since you're 21 now. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Let's take some fucking some dabs. Some right. some fucking what's it called? Yeah, I'll bring home. I'll some bring home shatter. Some, a stash. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, while we're at I'll it, I'll bring home some stuff. And you know. I get home. Proxy just woke up. <laughs> Proxy's, you know, <laughs> probably doing a little online job, maybe. Maybe doing an online class. Yeah. Um, I'm playing I'm playing fucking Mario Kart in the other room, bro. You know? Oh yeah. Oh, Evie yeah. comes home a few hours later, play Mario Kart, drinking, smoking. Play Mario Kart. Mario yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go out on the balcony for a bit and we just talk. And we're like, it's so crazy. How do we get here, man? How do we get here? I know, right? Like we're literally, like we're literally in space on our balcony. Yeah, in our we're in space, in our in our little in our little condo. Yeah, we're we're on the That's fucking right. moon right now. We're on and, the moon. And you know, we're we're you know having a little party. It's you know, easy the breezy. music's nice. Easy it's easy, and the air is hitting our face. Oh, it smells so nice. Smells like Baltimore. <laughs> smells like it smells like the smells city. Like be more. Yeah. Smells like and, the city. And the next day, you know, we're we have it off. We're recording the podcast. Right. That's it. Exactly. Ah. Oh, That's so it. Chill. That's it. It's so it's chill. chill. Oh man. Oh man. How it's is so our life chill. so chill? Oh my god. <laughs> How's our life so chill? I can't believe this. I can't believe what it. What the fuck? How's it so <laughs> chill? Oh my god! And it's awesome, and it's a fucking party every day, dude. <laughs> it's a party. That's what I'm thinking. Me too. That's a, that's that's the life. That's the life. That's the life that I want to live forever and ever yeah. and ever. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, we're gonna we're just gonna be we're gonna start our own um dispo. Yeah, we're gonna make up a we gotta make up a name for. The, what it's gonna be called you know and then we're gonna put yeah. it in a location where everybody sees it mm-hmm. and we just sell like the best stuff at the best prices yeah. and best prices we're just so awesome because we're the best honestly in the city. yeah it's not even about the money for us it's about right. the hobby it's about it's helping about the people. passion yeah it's about yeah and it's about it's about you know helping people giving them their their medication Right. We're helping. We're we're aiding people's lives. We're making yeah. them better. Never feel pain ever again. Never feel Never pain. feel stress. Never, Never anxiety. Never stress. Never anxiety. <laughs> yeah. 
We'll call it like the fucking space station or something like that, bro. Oh my gosh, that's actually fire, dude. You know what I really want? What? I really want for America to catch up in the world and start having weed bars, cannabis weed bars. I feel like they're yeah, like maybe. I feel like maybe in like California. Yeah, maybe. I think like California. Cause like okay. In maybe, Spain, maybe dude. Maybe New York. Maybe. I feel like I feel like okay. You got to be twenty one though. In Spain yeah. though. You can be eighteen. Nope. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Fire. I think. Let me look it up. <laughs> <laughs> um. How old? How old do you have to be how to attend old a to weed bar? Get in. But I feel like there are in, there might be some here. Uh, in Spain. But we would probably have to travel hella far. Oh. Weed bar. Okay, okay. They're called cannabis clubs. That's what I that's what I was trying to Cannabis okay. clubs. Okay, oh, members do have to be twenty one. So I just oh, lied. Okay. That's my fault. Wow. That's my fault. But wow. There's wait. There's a juice bar. Okay, no, this is just wrong. What? Some, okay, because you can you can smoke. I think recreationally in Spain at eighteen. So some clubs can be eighteen. Some are twenty one. I think. How old to smoke weed? There are recreationally in Spain. There are like um there are like four twenty friendly places here, but especially in like DC. But yeah. I don't know I don't know any of like actual bars. I I, I saw yeah. a um a juice bar. <laughs> like a like a DC weed juice bar, but it's not to say I will. Okay, what are you? What would you look for in a weed bar? Oh. Um, like, would you cozy look for... as hell? Okay, like cozy. like um, like like a cafe. Would you want? Because yeah. we have those. We have cafes. Ooh yeah. Ooh okay. Listeners, close your eyes. Imagine oh, with me another okay. vision. Another vision. I just had a vision. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you walk in. This glass, the the windows are so big. The light from the sun is just coming in. You can see the smoke coming out from the from the fucking what's it called? Coming up, you know, uh with mm-hmm. the sunbeams. You know, there's there's plants everywhere. You know, it smells beautiful in there. It smells it's boofing, to be fair, it's but it's boofing. But it but, smells great. But it smells amazing. You know, there's there's a there's a you know freshly a, freshly baked a munchy, in the back. Right. There's a there's a, a munchy corner, you know, a for for you can, yeah, you can buy like cheap ass like pizza, fucking baked goods, you know, whatever. Whatever whatever suits you, you know. Mm-hmm. There's like couches that are so comfortable. You sit down and you never ever want to get up. It feels like a cloud. Um, <laughs> and you know, there's a the the bar the bar fucking counter is is this a ways? You know, they have they have deals. You know, you can get ten pounds. Yeah, ten fucking doobies. For the price of five, maybe. <laughs> For the That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ten doobies. That's amazing. Maybe though. like maybe like thirty bucks. <gasps> what? <gasps> Ten what? grams? That's crazy. That's crazy. For thirty bucks? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's you know, there's there's refreshments, there's drinks, there's a they constantly have like 
funny ass like Seth Rogen movies playing on the oh TV. <laughs> they have they, they have... just have Big Mouth running on the back, right? Just constantly, they... <laughs> every single yeah. se- every single season. Yeah, just on repeat, actually. And then you go to the back. There's a door. What's in there? Oh, that's the shroom room. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> And it's a it's a what? safe space, bro. It's a safe space. You go in there. Mm-hmm. You're there for a few hours, dude. And you know, there's beautiful lights. It's a little bit darker. It's a bit colder there. There's blankets. You can bundle up. You can, there's oh, yeah? Netflix blankets. There's a there's a Roku in there. You can take <laughs> shrooms. <Roku> in there. <laughs> you can take your shrooms. I just feel so nice. It's therapeutic, honestly. And your your insurance pays yeah. for it because this is therapy, right? Yeah, we accept we accept all the insurances actually. Yep, every single one of and, them. And yeah, and it's it's quite that nice. That sounds that sounds more like a cafe though. Maybe yeah. not a bar. Yeah, it's a because cannabis a cafe. My, yeah, cannabis cannabis cafe. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. I think that. Bars are like, like loud. Like, oomph, 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 and oomph, 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 oomph. Yeah, bars are like loud. <laughs> yeah, and crowded. And, and don't worry though, we have one of those too. Tell each other. Yeah, we have one of those. Yeah. Too. If you're into those, if you're where into you can that. get faded, there's live music. There's live music. There's live yep. music, and there's there's dancing. There's 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 a fucking there's a, the bars over there, bro. Get there's some. Like a hot get, box. get your joint. There's, instead, instead, is there the hot box? Instead of a oh, room, hotbox instead room. of a shroom room, it's a hotbox room. Yeah, yeah, a hotbox. The hotbox house. The hot what? It's called the hotbox house. It's called the hotbox house. And fucking yeah, dude. That you can fire. the the entire. There's not a single piece of wood in this whole. Because we're not, we're not. You know, it's not gonna be a fire hazard, bro. The whole thing's made yeah. of like, made of like fucking. I don't, I don't know. And don't know to be fair, material. but it's yeah, not just, catching fire. You could drop your yeah, joint, no guys, guys, guys! Here. I dropped my joint, bro. Don't step on it. You pick exactly. it up. Okay, resume. Resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? The whole party just stops. Gives con- gives yeah. condolences. Yeah, I fucking dropped my joint. Wait. Picks it up. Everybody <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. The music stops. <gasps> Everyone stops in their tracks. What happened? Oh, we're good. We're good. I dropped my joint, but it's fine. It's fine. Continue. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That would be fire. And, you know, yeah. we can have drinks. We can have drinks because, you know, being yeah. crossfaded, being crossfaded is, yeah. is a great experience. We'll have yeah. drinks. They'll be we'll cheap as drinks. fuck. They'll be cheap drinks. They'll be affordable. <laughs> yeah. I think. I think maybe I feel like I need to see some some sort of okay hear me out we have one like that but we also have like like would 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 weed go well with wine would like a wine tasting yeah situation? right would, I think like so a, would like a wine tasting situation be kind of <gasps> you know valid dude okay another vision another vision okay <laughs> Your table, your table, you get a table. It's like a restaurant, right? Right. Yeah. You order like a, you know, I'm feeling a steak tonight. All right, oh, all right, okay. all right. Okay. Um, what goes best with steak? We'll give you the red wine. We'll give you okay. one of the one of the reds. Um, and we'll we'll have your steak, steak and potatoes out. Pronto. What strain would you like today? Would you like a a sativa, an indica, maybe? I don't know what goes what goes good with wine, but I see kimchi. <laughs> I know she did. I see kimchi, bro. bro. I had to put a blanket on my window to make it less bright, so that because if yeah. if this was not here, it would be all bright in in my face. Facts. So, Facts. but you can see kimchi shadow, bro, bro. But yeah. Anyways, anyways, okay. Back to our. Vision. You're sitting at your table. Mm-hmm. You got bread sticks whatever laid out you got your food 
your wine, your wine bottle, your wine bottle, your wine cup, and you got a an ashtray. Boom. Mm. Boom. Top right, top right corner, ashtray. Middle plate of food. Top left corner, your wine. Your wine. Facts. That's why. Middle of the table, breadsticks. And then, and then I feel like we do like a thing where the menu has, um, it has a wine and then an entree and then mm-hmm. a, like a, like a strain. And then mm-hmm. at the bottom we'll have like, we'll have pairings with all of the different options and then we can mm-hmm, have mm-hmm. some sort of, you know, make your own, make your own right. lead. Right. You don't wine have combo. to. Weed yeah. wine entree combo. Right. Yeah, you don't you have to get the ones that drink. Right. You don't have to you don't have to drink while you're smoking, but you don't have to smoke while you're drinking. And yeah. you can do one or the other or you can yeah. do all three. I mean all two. Right. Or you can just It's completely Or you can just eat. Yeah. <laughs> or you can just get a nice ass steak dinner. Right. Or Take shrimp potatoes. fucking carbonara or something. Right. Wait, okay, so would it, what be, would it be like, I think so, shrimp carbonara. <laughs> yeah, I think so. From the Sims. I wouldn't be, okay, but would it be like, like, um, like Italian, would it be an Italian restaurant? Or would it be like, like Mediterranean food? Or would it be, Ooh. um, like, would it be soul food? Would it be, you know, what are we working with here? What, it would it be you like know what? American food? Would we, or would we have like a fusion? Honestly, at first I was thinking fine dining. Okay. But now I'm thinking Mexican. Okay. Now I'm thinking Mexican. We can we can have well, fine we can have different Mexican. nights. We can have different nights. Oh, we can have different tonight's nights. the fine dining night. We'll have steak and potatoes. You know, mushroom soup and then or we whatever have, like, the a fuck. Little Instagram. We'll have an Instagram right. and we'll post. Oh, what Stop night by, it guys. is? Tonight. Tonight's Korean barbecue. Oh! oh tonight's Korean barbecue. Actually, I think Korean barbecue with that kind of okay. Another vision. Mm. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your okay. eyes, listeners. Another vision. We mm-hmm. <coughs> we have a Korean barbecue, mm-hmm. but also we have a Korean. Uh, we have a KBB babe KBBQ, and we have mm-hmm. a hot pot. Uh, like a Japanese hot pot together mm-hmm. combined, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we have big ass tables, right? Like big huge, ass like big ass family tables, right? Like round and table kind of thing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking more like you know how like uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you go to a restaurant and it's like long, but it's attached to the wall. It's like Bar. a slab. It's like a slab of con- like a marble or whatever, and then there's a booth. It's a booth uh, mm-hmm. kind of sitting. And then mm-hmm. in the middle of the table, it'll be um, a, you know, a KBBQ uh, mm-hmm. grill or whatever. And then on either side are two hot pots. Ew, why are they in there together? They're in there together. He's just <laughs> there's two, there. Okay, there's two hot pots. And then on either side of the grill. And then there's, you know, they'll bring you your toppings. If you've ever been to... A Korean barbecue, they'll bring you all your stuff and all the stuff that you need. And then we'll have, like, weed meat pairings. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts. We'll have a, a weed meat pairing on uh, the, the for the entrees. And then we'll have, like, we'll serve, like, soju and stuff like that. And then we'll have... um. Like we could have like broth, different choices of broth Facts. for the different you kinds of like like wine or like well not like wine but like whatever kind of drinks that we have we can pair it with you know pair Facts. It with like the, there's a lighter broth the there's a you know right. a pork broth there's a other kind of broth this I is don't making know. me hungry. vegetable I know right I'm hungry now I'm hungry. Right. And like, I haven't even smoked yet. Office. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We are we are at our forty five minute mark though. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We might not. I might not. Might not smoke this episode. 
Yeah. That's okay though. That's okay That's though. Okay you though. guys, you can. You can. Yeah. If you guys, you, 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 you know you're always welcome. You're always right, welcome you know to smoke along to the pod. You can top box this station. Come on, man. Yeah. Anytime. Come on, man. It's it's okay, bro. It doesn't matter, We're in space, matter, bro. bro. You can do what you want in space. Yeah, man. You know what? More for you. Yeah. More for you. More for you. More for you. Viewers. More for you. Yeah. Dude. I feel like... Okay. So I have this idea. And I ran it by Evie, bro. We were thinking okay. about doing a weed podcast. And... Yes. I feel like, I feel like this is the weed podcast. Yeah, I feel like this is the <laughs> this is the weed podcast. Or we could have yep. we could have weed weed episodes. We have yeah. different episodes just for just for us talking about our visions and yeah. our manifestations about yeah. where we want to go with weed. Because obviously, yeah. if we have this kind of you know these kinds of ideas we're gonna research these ideas and be smart yeah. and, and we're gonna build our intellect intellectual intellectuality <laughs> Duh. exactly and of we're course. gonna educate ourselves about weed and we're just gonna be weed masters actually we're gonna be the weed yeah. master so yeah you might as well call Don't us worry, the guys. weed masters yeah you might as well just call us the weed masters now you know, because yeah. we're just going to build up the knowledge and then become so knowledgeable that people just always want to, you know, learn from us. They want to yeah. hear our opinion. They're like, hmm, I want to know Thea and Evie's opinion about this strain. And then um, I also want to know what they think that um, the best strain ever is. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. Okay. Next episode. We gotta, okay. we gotta introduce. I feel like okay, we've established that we are stoners. We have to yeah. introduce all these non-stoner listeners who maybe want to become stoners. We gotta introduce them. We gotta start off with basics. Facts. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta start off. Let slow. us know. Let us know. Yeah. Let, let us, us know. know if you guys would be interested because we have been, you know partaking in marijuana for a while now and we've yeah. learned a lot i think it's and... been i think it's been a year now I yeah think. well not that but i think so. a little for i think a little over a year I, we yeah we weren't smoking flour for a while is the thing oh but yeah we oh were, yeah i forgot about for that, a while yeah. we did for a while we were doing cart smoking weed vape yeah yeah we were vaping don't be like us don't <laughs> be like nice, us <laughs> It was, it was okay. No, I feel like that if you if you're gonna start anywhere, you could probably start with a cart, because because yeah. flour can be in- intimidating sometimes, and then there's dabs, which are a lot more intimidating than flour. Man, yeah. when I when I was taking my first dab was crazy, dude. But, I thought I was dead. Yeah, I thought I was. I thought, I thought, I thought, thought it was man. over for me. Yeah, it was so jovial, dude, dude. It's. It's hard. The worst part, though, is getting over like how it feels in your lungs. Like once you yeah. once you know like how much you can really inhale, it's like a bit more chill. But like first doing it, you go full in. You're like, this this is gonna be awesome, <sighs> bro. And then you're I'm like, gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw up. I'm throwing yeah, up don't now. Don't be too much. Please be yeah. mindful of how much. Please be mindful of your limits. Please yeah. be mindful of your limits, please. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's and that's really just like the main thing about smoking yeah. weed. Is just if you know that you chill. can't handle a big puff, it's okay. Right. Not everybody no can one's... handle a big puff. Don't no one's don't, gonna don't. judge you, bro. Yeah, nobody's gonna judge you. Don't worry you, about it. Cause at the end this of the day, a, bro. This is a chill zone. Chill zone. Right. And only do it with people that you want to do it with. If you right. even for a second think, mm, you guys aren't chill. I'm gonna skedaddle. Right. Yeah. Skedaddle right. as then, fast as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Then if you're good. If people aren't bro. giving you the right vibes, if you think that yeah. if you think that they might have put some shit in their fucking shit, then leave, bro. Yeah, guys, bro. Even yeah, for man, a second, had... even for a minute. Yeah, we had this one time, which it wasn't that bad, but it was still like, it's there's like a certain level of respect that you need to give people and like let them know what exactly they're smoking and yeah my my boyfriend was like off 
off nicotine for like a while and and we had like we had these people these new people that we were smoking with and they brought their own joint that was great you know that's awesome i always i always like that but they had like fucking i can't even they had um like uh and they had uh tobacco leaves in their in their joint which uh most people from dc do that I get, I I understand it, but um, I get it, you know. But I think that it's definitely a good idea to let somebody know that that is that what you that is what you do, that is what you partake in, and that is yeah. what you roll with. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, not sometimes. Like I know that it's 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 kind of hard to be mindful sometimes when um when it hasn't happened to you but you just always want to be mindful uh especially about uh, of the other people around you because it's yeah. like not it's not cool man not cool yeah. to, especially like... if you know that you smoke differently from right. other people then for sure just let somebody know yeah You're like hey i act i put tobacco in my weed you know um just yeah. me, just just letting you know um, yeah and that's just alternatively okay, though yeah but like just let people know yeah alternatively though we also had an experience with this guy who didn't do anything really to his weed but it was just bad weed and yeah. <laughs> um and that shit took me out that shit that was it was dude it, okay like, let people know in the face, bro. right let people know if your weed is ass and if you and if you do anything special to it because Maybe, i think I especially like... i was just gonna say i feel like it was it was um it it was supposed to be like that but yeah we just it just was not working with our body chemistry yeah it's just not working but yeah i think like a lot of like teens and stuff who who smoke weed kind of have the mindset of like don't be a pussy you know like yeah just smoke whatever like the fact that you even have it is like is awesome and like as you get older and you like kind of get more access to good weed it's like it's like you can you can say no to like shit that you don't trust or right. stuff that you don't think is going to make you feel good cuz at the end of the day it's what you're putting in your body and and you're not a pussy for not wanting to partake in something that maybe someone else wants to so don't don't worry about peer pressure even if you are like partying and smoking and stuff at the end of the day yeah it's 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 your own body it's 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 your choice. Your body, your choice, man. You gotta do what yeah. you gotta do. If you for a second think that this shit is whack, then you gotta. It's okay. And if those people, yeah. if if other people are like, bro, you're lame, you're lame, bro, bro. It's like sorry, sorry. I'm looking out for myself. Thanks. Right. Because yeah, the people, the same people that I'm say that shit, <laughs> right, the same people that say that shit say you're lame for not doing whatever, they're not looking out for you. They're not going to look out for you. Yeah, they're not. You're the only person that can look out for you. So, because right. what happens, it's cool. What happens if you say yes, and then, uh, and then those people like, and you're tweaking, and those people leave you there, bruh. Right. That's crazy. You're done. You're done. You're done, done for. <laughs> Yeah, it's... and now you gotta like sit it out and wait it out, and right. that sucks. Because especially Which if doesn't you're, like, feel tweaking, good, man, you don't want to be yeah. alone. Yeah, it does right. not feel good to tweak, bro. Especially yeah. alone, that's crazy. Tweaking in the comfort of your own home is bad enough, but tweaking in a space where you don't feel yeah. safe, sex is is so. yeah, it's crazy. So it's not so worth just be it. Mindful, guys. You yeah. Know? From don't from be, your don't, don't be trying big bros don't be trying to be cool, yeah. From yeah. your big bros, you know, we care about oh, yeah, you yeah. guys. Yeah, 
we want to see you succeed in the weed dog department. Yeah. And at the end of the day, be able to have a fun time. Being cool is is not really even. I feel like it's mostly just like made up. Like right. uh, the people who are considered like the coolest that I've met will end up being like the most loserist kind of people. Yeah. So they're, they're such losers, man. Yeah, people who wanna Cause it's, they're faking it half the time. Right, because right? it's to impress people, which is fine. It's fine to want to do that, but obviously, like, you know, you don't want you gotta be held accountable to for hurt. your own. Yeah, actions. you don't want to just want to just be out here telling peer pressure and people, you know. Right, because it's not a good look. Yeah, it's not cute, bro. Gotta chill. Gotta L. chill. Yeah. L. Yeah. L. If you're faking cool, faking coolness. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that could be your thumbnail. What else? Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, side tangent. I was playing Spirit Fair the other day, uh, and that shit oh, broke yeah. my damn heart uh, because I got to the point yeah. where Alice was moving on and she started to lose her memory and she started to lose like mobility and that shit fucked me up yeah i was crying about it the yeah. entire day yeah i don't game, know why it hits up. that game is fucked though yeah it hit especially with alice because she is just such like a grandma character like she bakes yeah. for the for the boat for the for the ship she she yeah. you know she has her little orchard man that she shit definitely, oh, that shit just made me sad oh my gosh she's just such a sweet little lady and she yeah. she i think she like the the spoilers for spirit fair if you are planning on playing if you guys it, um spirit fair is a um a, a game i think it's on steam but i we oh really on yeah Switch. Yeah, I think it's on. Uh, I, it's it's for sure on Steam, but um, we I play it on my Switch. Thea plays it on their Switch, but yeah. I think that the 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 part where she has you dress like her granddaughter. Oh my dude! God. Oh that my shit dude. took me out. Like, dude, I I stayed in that outfit for a good while too. Me too, dude. Change, <laughs> me too. Uh, yeah, I did not change me too. my outfit after that. The, you can change the I ha, I did change the the color of the cat though of Daffodil. Me too. But I did not for, I, for yeah. a while. I, I did not take that outfit off. I was like, bro. Yeah. In a way. I made Daffodil black because my cat's black. Yeah, I did too. I did too. Yeah, my Kenji Kenji's black, so I I made but, Daffodil yeah. black. Yeah, that's my cat. Yeah. Yeah. But shit, dude. I wish they and had every time, a tuxedo version. It would be pretty nice. I know, right? I wish they had like my actual cheese. cat, like cat, yeah. like tabby. <coughs> that would be really nice. Like like a tabby. Oh, so cute. Yeah, a that tabby would be pattern. So cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every time I go into her her cottage too to change my outfit, I'm like Alice. Yeah. Oh, dude, She's the, the game gets so much sadder. <laughs> really? Damn yeah. it! The game dude. gets so much sadder, dude. That shit had me bawling. You're gonna get. I feel like I okay. I was attached to um to Astrid. I don't know if you have Astrid yet. I have Astrid. She's the, um, the yeah. wolf. Yeah. yeah. Do you I love have? Her. Do you? Are you at the point of Giovanni? Is Giovanni yeah. on your boat? Mm. I like Giovanni. He's my he's my little guy. I know. <laughs> I know. He's he's unfaithful, but he gets my goat. he gets worse, dude. I bet he, he dude, gets like he's a, he gets like terrible. a smidge worse, and then and then he like you have to take him to the door. Dude, afterwards. his fucking his um, what's it called the, like the the, the buff his buff, is flirting with fucking passengers, dude. Like what? Oh oh yeah, <clears throat> that's crazy, man. 
Yeah. Bro, Giovanni sucks. <laughs> I know. Dude, like, the, if the the uh, Astrid's Astrid like leaving, she he just makes her her leaving so much worse because it's like she leaves after he leaves, and she's like, she's like, bro, I'm just I'm I'm done. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, bro, it's okay, Astrid, so sad. please, bro, and and uh, the. I could go on forever about this game. I'm not even over it. I'm not even done. I'm close to being yeah. done, though. Oh, but yeah. I'm for was, sure going to play I'm it again. Like, yeah. I think I'm at, like, 30%. Oh. Oh, my God. Wait until you get to Stanley. Dude. Stanley. Stanley, Stanley's not there for a while. Stanley's there mm. for maybe about, like, Is like gonna break three, like, four like five game days and oh, okay. all of a sudden he's just like because oh. it's a kid you get so he's like a bait he's like a little guy oh he's a mushroom too oh my god oh, oh my god. No! yeah dude the game just gets so much i sadder. can't i can't handle elderly people and fucking kids dude like talking about yeah. like death with those like that shit crushes me I can't yeah. and then you learn more about Stella and you also feel bad so I feel so bad oh I don't really it's, it just makes me feel so like ugh you know yeah. but yeah it's a great game guys beautiful yeah. game yeah such beautiful a beautiful game. game okay real review I think it reminds me a lot of Steven Universe yeah it's okay it's like it's gorgeous it it touches on death a lot like that's the whole premise but it's yeah. it's very like it's i like it i like how it's so like it's it kind of does this like passing over thing where yeah. it's like very peaceful and like beautiful but it's also like so sad but you still like remember everyone that was on your boat and I don't know if you can get rid of their their cottages mm-hmm. or their their houses. No. Yeah. So you you remember like and you see every day like the empty rooms and it stays with you till the yeah. end of the game. Um, yeah. You got you have to um have to make your boat bigger because yeah. there's just there's so much there's like a yeah they, they it stays the the reasons why the cottage stays is because um the the mini games they have to their their ever their mm. flower their spirit flower like activates the mini games that um that you have to do like uh oh. um well obviously you have alice's there still because of her wardrobe i think um you have uh astrid for no not astrid um uh what was Gwen. the deer's name Gwen. The very first one? Gwen? Okay, yeah. yeah. Gwen, you have Gwen for the little, um, for the, I forgot what they're called. The little, like, the, the, that mini game where you have to jump and catch all of the yeah. little, little jellyfishes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, jellies. I haven't done that shit in so long. I need to. Yeah. Cause I need it yeah, for like, more. uh, an errand. For for my little yeah. guy. Oh yeah, those but... the errands are nice. I like the I like that yeah. that they add in. <clears throat> I know, right? I also like I love him. Like I love the guy that's is like that Francis. The, I don't. His name is Francis. Yeah, Francis. Francis the dude, wandering I love legend. him. Yeah, dude, I love, I love him. him. Yeah, dude. I, actually, if you if you can, um, avoid selling your stuff to the raccoon as much as you can, just do that. I Francis, do, yeah. Francis will buy anything, but the raccoon, yeah. he'll only buy like stuff that is like useful, I guess, to him, like yeah. seeds and stuff. He won't, he yeah. won't buy like, like um, like the the gifts that you have. The yeah, because we you get this one guest, uh, his name is Giovanni, and he gives you like valuables, like a mm. like a vase or a necklace. But oh, you can't yeah. do anything with those, so you just have to sell it. Oh, you and mean it the, the bird? Should be sold. Yeah, the bird, yeah. the red bird. 
Yeah. He gives you, like, he's, like, super fancy, so he gives you valuable yeah. items, but you can't really do anything with those items, so you gotta sell them. But the raccoon won't buy them, but Francis will. That's my goat. Yeah, my goat Francis. I don't sell <laughs> shit to the raccoon. I just keep everything I, he has except stuff, though. for what I have to sell. Yeah. I, That's I'll true. I have him. bought from him. Yeah, his price he is has though. a lot of seeds. Yeah, his prices, bro. Oh yeah. My gosh. It's fucked and up. And then he also sells like um like keys to cities. Yeah. Yeah. Those are really I always expensive. look for the keys. Those are really fucking expensive for no reason. Yeah. But yeah. That's pretty much all I buy from him. I don't really I don't think I really buy like seeds from him or anything like that. Cause I feel like most of the shit that he sells you can get during like other ventures like quests and shit but yeah. it's just the keys that i buy from him really yeah thanks that's good yeah yeah that's a good game guys go go good that good game, game if you can't would recommend okay thank you so guys so much for listening or watching thank you so much for tuning in if you want to support us, at Space Desk Pod on all platforms, including Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much. That's Space Desk signing off. Thank you, guys. We love you, and we will see you when we see you. <laughs> Space Desk signing off. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah.